Hi hey everyone, it's Wednesday, September 25th, and you're here at the Chaos DEI Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. Great to see you all here. Hi, Desmond. Yeah, hello. Good day. Uh, the minutes are in the chat for anyone who needs them, and I will share my screen. So yesterday during the weekly community call, um, I'm puppy sitting and uh, <laughs> Ellie was very excited. She wanted to play and participate. So I've given her a toy today. So you may hear random squeaks and other things. She's busy right now, so that's good. <laughs> I eventually had to like lock her out of the room. <sighs> yeah, she just likes to be involved in everything. Um, okay, so I just wanted to bring some things here in case folks are attending this meeting and we're not in the weekly community call because there are some things that I think are pertinent to this. Uh, Adiinka, wait a minute, hold up. I just saw this. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Happy you very birthday. much. Thank you. I said I, said I was going to share that the meeting today. <laughs> Are you, do you have fun playing for today? What did you say? I said, do you have fun plans? Are you doing anything fun for your birthday? Uh, uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I have meetings through to the evening, but after the evening, I should have a quiet evening with my family. But people have been reaching out since uh, morning. I've, I've been overwhelmed with love and well wishes. So, it's been Aww. a beautiful day so far. <laughs> Really happy. That makes my heart very, very happy. Thank so happy you. you. So Thank glad you. Thank you. Um, okay. So sorry. Back to <laughs> back to the agenda. Uh, yes. So I wanted to let this group know that we do have some tickets to all things open. If you are interested and want to attend, or you know someone who might be interested and want to attend. Uh, we have five free tickets. So um, after those are gone, we can still offer a 20% discount to our community. And that is a gift from All Things Open. So thank you to them very much. I don't know that we'll have a table here. It's still, as we mentioned yesterday, it's still kind of up in the air because the spaces um, got smaller. <laughs> the number of spaces they have uh, shrunk. So they're hoping to um, sell <laughs> as many as they can. And then after that, they'll give, give those away to nonprofits. Um, so we're just waiting. I'll be there anyway, I'm speaking there. So, uh, you know, they can let me know the day before and I'll throw the stuff together and put it in my suitcase. No big deal. Um, so anyway, just let me know and I'll send you the link because there's a special link that we have to use. Any questions on that? Go quick. No. Um, in case you have not heard, there is a new working group within chaos and it came as an as a after effect from a conference unconference session at OSS Europe. Um, there's the notes if you're interested in looking at all the notes. Um, this is uh, this pertains to this group because it's around these sustainable development goals that the UN has there are 17 of them. And they're really, you know, to improve social good. Um, we, I think this group uh, metrics will be, I believe that they, uh, they mentioned it somewhere that it was for specific around some of these, um, some I of these goals. About. Yeah. You know, it's like maybe this one was one um, for, you know, helping people learn open source. Like, I don't remember now which specific goals they were, but Seven, in general. Yeah, okay. These were kind of the things that they think the group is gonna talk about. The first, uh, mostly around metrics, of course, um, but, you know, how we can also support communities, building inclusive communities for um, the, the goals that are around equality and opportunity and things like that. And then also there are open source projects that directly affect some of those like water quality and, and such. So um, they have not met yet. So if you're interested in participating in this group, the first meeting is October 2nd, and it will be actually during this time. So if you recall, we made this meeting biweekly. So this other meeting, this SDG, UN SDG meeting will be on the off weeks of this. So if this time is already blocked off in your calendar, it's an easy meeting for you to attend. Do I, are there questions about this? 
I don't know that I can answer them, but I will try. <laughs> I will try my best. I do think Ruth is one of the co-chairs or co-leads for that working group. She is. And so if you do have questions, you can absolutely reach out to her. The other person is David Lippert, who is running this as well. So um, yeah, just pop in here. You'll see in this Slack channel, there's a whole lot of stuff already. Um, <laughs> a lot of enthusiasm around this group. Um, some of the links that have been posted just are kind of around these in general. Um, so uh, don't feel overwhelmed when you go into that group. Um, you haven't missed anything. It's just, I think, uh, this transitional period of trying to get settled and figure out exactly what the group is going to achieve. We always have that whenever we start a new working group. There's always kind of that period of fi figuring out exactly what the mission of the group is and what the group wants to achieve. So it's not too late if you want to. Anything else on that? Hey, could I sneak um, something onto the agenda? I have to leave at 1030. And I know that yeah. Anika and Desmond are here. And I think they've been working on the event badging stuff. Well, I let's would, jump there. Then. Yeah, I would love to know how that's going. Because Desmond, I've been seeing a lot of your work coming across my, my GitHub notifications. And I just kind of love to hear how you're how that's going. OK, um, it's going fine. So I've been working with them uh, at the Inca and Gifts. So we want to be able to um, allow people um, um, submit for event badging from the website, from the new um, website. So, and um, we don't want them to be following the old method of maybe when they finish filling the form, they copy, I'm going to get up to, you know, press it. So we just want them to click the button to submit and authenticate it like GitHub and the issues automatically filter in their name. So, and we have finished the implementation. It's uh, working correctly, but we had to push it to production because um, we need uh, some kind of access to update uh, some environment variables, which we can update, like if we push the code, just like that. So, but yeah, I we, we set up like a staging environment where maybe if we can do a small demo, if you guys want. So, yeah, so that's yeah. how it's been going. Great. Can you let Desmond share his screen? Okay. Yeah, I saw a test come across just like 20 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago. And I think I'm like, oh, I think yeah. this is Okay, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So, so this is the, um, the website. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me find the, the tab. Okay, yeah, see this one. Uh, okay. So this is the staging environment. This this one. So so let's say you can create uh, events from here. Let's go. Let's do that. And put the link. And yeah, so I'll, I'll fill this box with the dummy, dummy test. So, so it won't take that time. So, so each of the um, sections of the um, is they are breaking to different. Like the form is a kind of multi-step form with each section. So you have to make it in, and there are references to the uh, links as well. If you want to learn more about what each section is. So, Mm -hmm. so the last one. Okay. 
So when I click on submit, um, come back and check. Sorry, the place I hosted the staging is uh they used to scale down the back end. Okay. Yeah. They used to scale it down if it's not active. Yeah, so it's active now. So let me let me try that again. So let me submit again. Um yeah, so so it will ask me to authorize with my GitHub. So I'll I'll authorize. And yeah, so these are all the things I filled from the form. And these are everything. So it has created and the badging bot has also you know, responded. So you can assign to people and they can take it up from there. So yeah, so that's the updates. And you can do the same for virtual events as well. So yeah. Thank you very much, Desmond, for this. I'd like to come in here, Matt, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. OK, so I know you will have a question for us. Um, first, I would like to say thank you to Desmond and Gift. So Gift is the front-end engineer on this. She actually made the whole pages responsive. And then Desmond has been working. We kind of like did peer programming together. It was a lovely time. And while we were doing that, we had a couple of challenges that I would like to bring to you. I think it's beautiful that um, the issue can be automatically created without the user having to copy and then have to open the GitHub themselves to, um, to then create the issue and paste into the issue. But the challenge we now have now is that we do not have a staging environment. We discover that we do not have a staging environment. So I had to then deploy into production to match the changes that Desmond made, which is very, very bad. Because when we deployed and uh, we discovered that it was not working, because of some environment variables that um, Desmond um, implemented into the back end. And so um, we are asking that it would be nice to have uh, like a few people other than um, Enoch to have access to the digital ocean where we can create a droplet for the staging environment, both for the front end and the back end, so that whenever um, changes are being made, we can then first take it to the staging environment, make sure it works before we deploy at all. So um, that's one. Uh, I still have some other things, but let me stop here in case you have any question for us. Yeah, Sean, you, Sean's got his hand up. Uh, are you, so are you, do you have a login that allows you to create the droplets? Because I, I believe I'm paying the bill on the droplets for this. So I, I, I'm okay if you add droplets, but I guess the, my question is just very pragmatic. Do you have permission to do that or somebody with permission to do that? So we don't. That's why I'm I'm bringing it to you now. Uh, okay. I think Enoch is the only one that does that and is currently unavailable. So it would be nice if um maybe two more people and for now, um Desmond and I have been working um being dedicated to the budget project and I think that we are very available for now. So if we can have access to the to the um digital ocean, there's a lot more we can do. Can you send me the um, emails of the people whom you want to be administrators okay no problem i'll sh do that uh, you can do it if you have them handy you can put it in meeting chat otherwise you can send it in slack okay um this month, please could you put your email address and then mine also in in the chat session okay. so um that's one then two so in the design we discovered that um I think the designer made all the input feeds compulsory. And so that was also implemented in the front end. But while we were working, we thought that that will not be feasible for our users because they might not have um, they might not have answers to all the fields. So I wanted to bring to you that are there some fields that we consider necessary for the users to fill in or we should make all the feeds optional. 
My, my first thought is to make them all optional because they kind of are at this point anyway, because they have to cut and paste everything. And then the reviewer mm -hmm. would just say, like if something's missing and they wanted more insight, the reviewer would be like, hey, could you please respond to this thing that you left empty? What do you think, okay. Elizabeth? Yeah, I was just thinking that um, I think by making them optional also, it kind of removes a level of um, a, a level of uh, complexity. So like if they if, if they're all mandatory and they miss one, well, now we have to go back and, you know, figure out errors and all of that, which I guess uh, we can do. But I think for now we can start anyway and see if we keep them all optional and uh, see how that goes. And if we find that nobody's answering anything, then, then maybe we can make some some required. But I think the easiest thing is to just make them optional for now. Would you all agree? I think that's, that's good. OK, so we make it optional then. Um, so um, I, this month, do you um, do you want to bring anything on the budget again that we feel we should discuss here? Okay, well, I think you have you have mentioned them um, the the staging environment, the access to digital version. I think you've mentioned the the parts that is dedicated to the back end, then the front end. Um, attention as well. So I think I think for now we could. No. okay okay so if there is any other thing we there are, there are still a couple of things that we intend to do to ensure that um other developers have um, a way to contribute seamlessly one thing we discovered while working on the budget um api we we noticed that there, there are no test cases available to actually test the endpoints and everything so um, we will be doing that in the next one month, especially with the October 1st coming up. So um, that, that's, that's our uh, next to do for the budget project. Is that, is that, um, is the intention to have this deployed prior to that? Or do you want to do that first before? Oh, we will be deploying this as soon as we have okay. um, access to um, to add the environment variables. Okay, I'm thinking um, once it's deployed, Elizabeth, like you, me, you and me, and like with CCing, Anyanka, Desmond, and Gift, or just including them, like reach out to the LF staff and just let them know <laughs> that this is a new because the LF team is the one that does the most event badging. I'm sure they will be absolutely thrilled <laughs> to see this change. <laughs> OK, then again. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> so you mentioning LF made me remember something concerning the badging process itself, the badging applications. I wanted to ask if we are considering having a survey um, to just assess um, how, how uh, to just uh, find out if uh, the process of the badging has been seamless for the applicants. You know, we have a lot of returning applicants um, for the badging application, just to know how the badging process has been for them, what needs to be improved and all that. I don't remember this conversation, but it's a good idea. Yeah, it really is. Um, I think we have just done it informally um, in the past when we, you know, first launched it. There was a lot of a lot more attention to that because uh, it was so new. And then we kind of just got in a got a new routine and, you know, had just been doing the same things um, that we always have. So I think it's an excellent idea. Um, and I think that I know, well, I know that the LF team would be more than happy to provide any feedback for us. They're super great and um, really want to help us make the whole thing better. So I think that that's a great idea. All right. Okay. I'll see you, have, to, you have uh, questions in mind? 
Arinyanka, do you have questions in mind? Because if not, we could like start drafting a, just a small Google form or something. Okay, so I don't have any questions right now. Okay. Um, I, I just thought about it, that it would be a good idea to yeah, it's a good idea. know how the application has been for for our users. Why don't you, Eliz I'll put that as an action item for me. I'll start that form. I just kind of think through what some of those questions could be. Um, I have a quick question about um, the the wording on the application, um, the new process. So I saw a few things that we need to maybe change as you were doing your demo, Desmond, and um, okay. one of them with regard to the public health thing, because we kind of changed the way we were gonna word that. Um, I think that was only maybe a couple weeks ago or less. I don't remember now, but anyway. Um, so how would I go about offering those uh, recommendations for changing those words on the on each of those pages like where would I put that just in an issue in the badging repo or where would you like that okay I think there, there was a repository I think I shared with me that contains details about those uh, yeah. so if you can put it there yeah. okay perfect yeah. also I just want to say okay bye Matt see you later uh, Thanks, this is yeah. such bye. fantastic work like I can't not thank you enough Desmond and Gift, like this has been on our to do list forever, forever. And so just thank you so much for all your work on this. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And we greatly, greatly appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. And Yeti Inca too, for kind of <laughs> keeping it all going and yeah, moving it forward too. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone have any other questions for Desmond Gift or Yeti Inca? It looks like Sean has given access as needed. So thank you, Sean. No problem. I will go back to sharing this. Um, okay, we will go hop back up here um, to, I think we were right here. We were just gonna mention that we do have a couple of um, event badging orientation sessions. One is immediately after this meeting. So if you are interested in being a badger, you can stick around and learn about what that means and how it works and all the things. So just want to throw that out there. We also are hosting a workshop on Grace Hopper Open Source Day. It's virtual. So if you're interested in participating, you uh, here's the session. Maybe get off of there. What's going on? I don't know. Something's happening to my. I'm locked up here. Cool. Um, okay. Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> I don't know why that's stuck there. Anyway, sorry. Um, <clears throat> where are we? Here we are. Uh, code of. Okay. So, yeah. So that's happening. Sorry. I'm super distracted by this stuff on my screen here that seems to be stuck. Um, the next thing on our list is the code of conduct documents update i wasn't sure if anybody from that team was going to be here today so i don't see anybody on that so we will skip that one same thing with education i don't see peculiar on here either i don't think so yeah and now we are to the end of our agenda what else do we want to chat about anything else on our minds weather What's that? Weather. Oh, weather. Yeah, let's talk about the weather. I'll talk about that all day. Because <laughs> I'm an old lady, and apparently we like to do that. Well, I'm an old man. I guess that's uh, we're the same. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're we're doing good. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. And I guess if there's nothing else for us today, we can just end the meeting. You can have some time back. Okay. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Thanks. Thanks for the update, y'all. See you later. All right. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye.